So if you are here, you are starting your summative um, assignment that deals with the ending of Act 1. So you have listened to, hopefully, scenes 1 through 5 in the Diary of Anne Frank for the entire Act 1. And now what we're going to do is we are going to do basically kind of like a test um, or the beginning of adding in a test. You have from today, Wednesday, February 3rd through Sunday, February 7th to get this completed. Many of you would be able to get this completed in like, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. Some of you, it'll take a little bit longer, but here's what it looks like. When you open it up, it says AF Act 1 Scene Summarizing. Here is your first slide, The Diary of Anne Frank Play Summarization. Directions. Follow Schoology to see which slides you need to work on during the finishing of this unit. You guys are doing slides four, five, six, seven, and eight. Each scene from the Diary of Anne Frank will require you to answer, really this should say one to two questions. They're written on the slides provided. When, answer, uh, when you answer the provided questions, the more detailed your answers, the better. Um, and the reason for it um, is because you will use these answers for your final test at the end of Act 1 and Act 2. So think of these slides as your cheat sheet. The more information, the better. Here's Act 1. Yay! So here is um, slide number 4. This is where you're going to start. Question. Explain what it's like to walk through town in their final destination, the Annex Attic. So the Franks and the Van Dans, what do you think it was like to have to walk through their, where they originally lived all the way to the secret annex? Was it scary? Were they worried about things? Remember that they had to wear, um, put all of their clothes on in layers because they couldn't have a suitcase because it looked suspicion. suspicious. Excuse me. So you're going to kind of walk through that. Question two, why did the Franks have to go into hiding in the first place? Okay, um, you might have to go back into the text to find this information. Otherwise, using your study guide would help as well. Act one, scene two questions. So now we're on scene two. Question one, how do you think it felt for the characters in the diary of Anne Frank to be told everything that they could not do while hiding in the annex? I want you guys to think about right now with this pandemic for a while when the governor shut us down or put us on a pause, not being able to play a sport, not being able to go to a restaurant, not being able to do lots of things. How did that feel? And then you're going to be able to compare that to the characters in the Diary of Anne Frank. How is this different or the same from how the Franks and Van Dans were living previously? So before all of this happened, before Nazis came in and said, hey, you can't do this, this, and this. How is it different or how is it the same? Act 1, Scene 3. What types, and this is just one question, what types of relationships did the characters have while hiding in the annex? Who's not getting along? Who are the, uh, what are the people like? The more information, the better. So you have Mr. Frank, Mrs. Frank, Margaret, Anne, Mr. Van Dan, Mrs. Van Dan, Peter, and Dr. Dussel. And down here, you just kind of have to vomit your thoughts. Do Mr. and Mrs. Frank get along? Does Mr. Frank and Margot get along? How about Mr. Frank and Anne? What are Mr. Van Dan and Mrs. Van Dan? Um, what's their relationship like? Act 1, Scene 4, just one question again. Explain what you think it was like to grow up while hiding in front of so many people's eyes. How do you think Anne felt, Margot felt, Peter felt. So you have three teenagers that are having to grow up in basically a 400 square foot hiding place. 400 square feet, um, that's like a studio apartment. You could fit not a lot in there at all. And so in th thinking about this, what was it like? You're, you basically didn't have a chance to hide and you had everybody watching you. And then act one, scene five, this is your last one. There's two questions here. Why is it important for Anne to continue with the Hanukkah tradition? Why did she feel like that was an important thing? And then why were the characters so scared when Peter knocked the lampshade over? Who were they afraid of? Feel free to use your study guides. Feel free to go back into the PDF texts 
And then also feel free to reach out to either Miss Willoughby or myself and we can help you with these. But this is due on Sunday of this week. So you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do five slides. You can do it.